Alien abduction. Sometimes also called abduction phenomenon. Alien abduction syndrome, or UFO abduction, refers to the phenomenon of people reporting what they believe to be the real experience of being kidnapped by extraterrestrial beings and subjected to physical and psychological experimentation. Most scientists and mental health professionals Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. So let's go. But before start don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe and turn all notification on to watch all other amazing stories. So let's go. Mainstream scientists reject claims that the phenomenon literally occurs as reported. However, there is little doubt that many apparently stable persons who report alien abductions believe their experiences were real. John E. Mack John Wilson, Rima Libo and David Gottlieb assessed that while psychopathology was associated with some cases, most reports were from sane, common people. Some abduction reports are quite detailed. An entire subculture has developed around the subject, with support groups and a detailed mythos explaining the reasons for abductions. The various aliens, greys, reptilians, Nordics, and so on, are said to have specific roles, origins, and motivations. Abduction claimants do not always attempt to explain the phenomenon, but some take independent research interest in it themselves and explain the lack of greater awareness of alien abduction as the result of either extraterrestrial or governmental interest in cover-up. Political scientist Michael Barkin, without taking a position on if UFOs and aliens are real, highlighted links between radical politics and conspiracy theories involving UFOs, alien visitation, environmental pollution, hidden groups, government and world takeover. He observed the rise of a form of eclectic and apocalyptic millenarism which he termed, improvisional millenarism. UFO and abduction stories can often be part of stigmatized or suppressed knowledge narratives, where alleged orthodoxy is claimed to be maintained in error for nefarious purposes and to keep society in ignorance. UFO and alien-related conspiracy theories emerged in far-right politics from the 1980s onwards. According to Barkin, in popular culture, TV shows like The X-Files motion picture not only included that the stigma of alien abduction stories is seductive to dismiss, consensus reality, in favor of deviant alternative realities. Self-described abduction victims often join self-help communities of victims and may resort to questionable regression therapy similarly to other self-reported victims of child sexual abuse or satanic ritual abuse. The examination phase of the so-called abduction narrative is characterized by the performance of medical procedures and examinations by apparently alien beings against or irrespective of the will of the experiencer. Such procedures often focus on sex and reproductive biology. However, the literature holds reports of a wide variety of procedures allegedly performed by the beings. The entity that appears to be in charge of the operation is often taller than the others involved and is sometimes described as appearing to be of a different species. Miller notes different areas of emphasis between human medicine and what is reported as being practiced by the abductors. This could result from a difference in the purpose of the examination, routine diagnosis and or treatment versus scientific examination of an unfamiliar species or it could be due to a different level of technology that renders certain kinds of manual procedures unnecessary. The abductor's areas of interest appear to be the cranium, nervous system, skin, reproductive system, and to a lesser degree, the joints. Systems given less attention than a human doctor would, or omitted entirely include cardiovascular system, the respiratory system below the pharynx and the lymphatic system. The abductors also appear to ignore the upper region of the abdomen in favor of the lower one. The abductors do not appear to wear gloves during the examination. Other constants of terrestrial medicine like pills and tablets are missing from abduction narratives although sometimes abductees are asked to drink liquids. Injections also seem to be rare and IVs are almost completely absent. Miller says he's never heard an abductee claim to have a tongue depressor used on them. And now we reach the end of the video. And thanks for watching. Out of this world.